There are a lot of vegetables here. I see pumpkin flowers, Okinawan spinach, water dropwort, sesayo chalwit, bitter hops, and Malabar spinach. It appears to be yummy and colorful. Let's see what we will enjoy with this basket of vegetables today. Do you know what dish we're going to enjoy today? If preparing ingredients like this, there can only be a hot pot with fermented fish, right? That's right. How do you know that? You know why? Because hot pot with fermented fish is my favorite. The Southwest is famous for its salty fish. It's often processed into many attractive dishes such as mamjung, fermented fish noodle soup, and hot pot with fermented fish. So, why did you choose to introduce dinners to a hot pot with fermented fish? Because the hot pot can be combined with a variety of familiar sour fish, meat, shrimp, and snails. Furthermore, hot pot with fermented fish can also be used with many vegetables. Eating this way is nutritious, and eating with family is very enjoyable. Wow, that smells so good. To cook such a delicious hot pot, you must be thinking how to prepare it, right? That's right, Ngoc. To make this tasty hot pot, I must first select a delicious a salty fish. There must be a receipt for various types of salty fish, such as flexible fish and chalk fish. Furthermore, if you want to eat a tasty hot pot, the ingredients such as meat and fish must be fresh. The hot pot is boiling. Let's put this ingredient first. Put the meat and last pieces of fish first. You see all the ingredients here are fresh and the meat is very clear. Do you know where these fish grow up? It puts them in the rice fields, in the ditches, and etc., and then gathers them. Have you ever taken any cooking courses, or it is a traditional dish from your shop? I haven't taken any cooking courses. And to this day, the shop has been running for 10 years because of my husband. He was very gifted at cooking. He's very meticulous and careful in all his work, especially in food, because he always follows the criteria of having to be delicious. For example, in this hot pot, in addition to tasty salty fish, the secret is to use coconut water to reduce unnecessary spices and accessories. We're also passionate about food, so we keep exploring and researching to produce traditional dishes. The fish is cooked. Just put water vegetables you like in the pot. Such a hot pot is probably enough for three to four people to use up. It looks so tempting. I specially set up the hot pot for four to five people to eat, suitable for groups of friends, family, or colleagues. How much does your shop's hot pot with fermented fish cost? The hot pot for four to five people costs about three hundred thirty thousand dong. And small groups of two people cost 200,000 dong. In addition to hot pot with fermented fish, we also have lots of other delicacies such as deep fried pork shank, fat dog meat, common sesh ban salad with tiny shrimp, and fried tiny shrimp with flour. Moreover, the shop has hot pot dishes such as 
all good love hot pot and crab paste hot pot is yummy. This hot pot needs to have the whole family gather together to enjoy it, which will create a cozy feeling. And when eating hot pot or hot dishes, it will stimulate my taste. Whenever I come to Cần Thơ, I often visit this restaurant to eat. The first thing I eat here is vegetables, and the dishes are full. Second, because the country dishes are delicious, every time I visit this shop, I always eat hot pot with fermented fish. The food here is seasoned, not too rich, suitable for my taste, and not boring. <laughs>